I just wish TikTok was more forward with me because TikTok really be out here talking about you violated community guidelines. And I'm just like, okay, so like, I know y'all are racist. So y'all just need to call me with my government slur at this point. Like, I just need y'all to just say what your whole chest. Just call me a name. Hey guys, it's Yarn Goddess Cosplay, and I am super excited to announce my new series called Tuesday Tea Talks. Tuesday Tea Talks are where I sit down with you guys and rant about a topic that I am either passionate about for 5 to 10 minutes. Today, we're going to talk about TikTok. Oh my god, I just had a video go viral and it makes me feel really good. But also, I am just irritated with the platform because three weeks ago, like back in February, oh, you raggedy bitch. You. If you're unfamiliar with TikTok, you're able to make skits on there by using different audios from um, custom audios to music audios to just like, you know, kind of whatever. Um, TikTok gained a lot of traction recently. They kind of just blew up overnight with their video editing ability and overall. Uh, Feminity, is that a word? They basically got famous because a lot of bigger users started to use them. Um, as far as like, you know, personal use, TikTok has become a platform that really, just it's really great for exposure. It's really great for pushing products and small businesses. And overall, it's a fun and engaging platform, unless you're black. If you are black like me, you find yourself constantly fighting with the algorithm and with TikTok's uh, vague community guidelines. This also applies to trans people, gay people. Uh, basically, just if you're not white and cis and male, uh, you will have faced the short end of the stick multiple times for no other reason than you violated community guidelines. And honestly, at this point, I've gotten to the point where I use TikTok because I personally like making videos on there. I like using the platform to make content that I personally enjoy. I'm not trying to be viral on the platform. I honestly started my page over there. I was shits and giggles because we were in quarantine and I was just like, hey, I have nothing else better to do. The more I use it, the more I realize that it really does help businesses. Like I just recently made a Vision <laughs> plush and posted it on TikTok. And this plush has sold out twice. I have Instagram could never. I love the platform, but all of February, like, oh my God, for Black History Month, Black History Month was raggedy. Black History Month was just, uh, it was terrible on TikTok. It was terrible elsewhere, but specifically on TikTok, it was really bad because myself and a bunch of other Black creators noticed that TikTok was just limiting views on basically every Black creator platform. And it wasn't like a limited view, like, oh, this video didn't do that well. I'm talking platforms that had like, half a million followers were getting a thousand views on their videos. Exactly. Make it make sense. You also have issues of just the smaller creators being completely shadow banned and getting zero views on any of their, on any of their videos, which is also just crazy to me. Cause even if you have 10 people following you, you should be able to get at least five or 10 views, not just zero views. Like I've seen the worst video on TikTok still get five views, not zero. So I feel like it kind of came to a head in for the month of February because we're doing Black History Month, we're pushing stuff. Uh, TikTok recently announced they had a new uh, creator program for Black Voices and that whole thing was basically just a lie. And we just all got really fed up. Even I got fed up with it. I was like, you know what? I, I can't just use this for fun anymore because I'm noticing too many bad things happening at once and it's making me sad. It's also making me very angry. I think what really kills me about TikTok is that as much as I know the platform is racist and as much as I know that I'm going to use it, I just wish TikTok was more forward with me because TikTok really be out here talking about you violated community guidelines. And I'm just like, okay, so like, I know y'all are racist. So y'all just need to call me with my government slur at this point. Like, I just need y'all to just say what your whole chest, just call me a name. Like, I just feel like you guys keep playing these games with me. And I know that you're racist. You're just racist. I know for myself personally, I have found a way to use the platform and kind of do the mental gymnastics that comes with working with a platform that is clearly against me and anything that looks like me. But I just keep wondering how younger viewers and younger users feel about using the platform because it definitely affected my mental health greatly, especially right now since we're isolated and quarantined. I can't imagine how the people feel right now um, who are just, are just younger, who just are not as developed, who are still 
learning how to define their self-worth outside of a following count. How do you use TikTok knowing that the platform specifically targets black and brown people creators um, and limits our views? And my answer to that is learn how to not give a shit. I know it's not the best advice, but it's how I got here. Learn how to not give a shit. I, I truly enjoy making TikTok videos, not because they are TikTok videos, not because they're going to go viral, not because, you know, someone's going to see it and be like, oh my God, I'm going to give her a million dollars because this video made me laugh my ass off. I enjoy making TikTok videos because I enjoy seeing myself do stupid things that, you know, aren't going to harm me later in life. So yeah, like I really enjoying using their audios for specific characters like Hades, my Hades, and I keep bringing up my Hades because I truly love my Hades so much and I really wish I had a con to go to because the amount of chaotic energy that just forms when I'm cosplaying Hades that just comes, it's, oh it's just a beautiful immaculate chaos <laughs> that I really like to express but I don't know how to say what I feel exactly. So TikTok, you know, has these beautiful audios that say it for me. This one right here is why I love TikTok because it perfectly explains how I feel when I am Hades and I feel like this is what I would do as Hades. What's up girl, how you been? I'm good, I'm actually getting back together with my ex. Oh, that's fine. So how was your whole phase? What? There was this phase you were talking about when you broke up with your ex. I, I, I know. You, were, you know, you're gonna be a bad bitch. I am a bad bitch. And you know, have a hoe face. Rock up a lot of bodies. I did say that, but you know I changed my mind. You didn't even have a whole weekend. Bruh. Or a whole holiday. I, I had like a mini hoe Cause you complained to me about this dude a lot. When you get back together with him because he took you to the Cheesecake Factory twice and dropped Nissan Ultima. So, so, so I'm confused. Because you said I'm never going back to him. It's different now. But you did without a hoe face. I mean, there's billions of dicks out there. I know billions of dicks are in the world. I mean, shit, right? yeah, I, I, I can find you six or seven dicks by tonight. Well, that's just your opinion. If I was you, I'd be out there hounding for dick. I'd be gobbling up them glitches. I'd be the Van Helsing of dick. I'd have a body count like the Grim Reaper. I'd be a big hoe. And that's not suspect facts. Stuff like that is why I enjoy using TikTok. I don't particularly like the platform or its the community guidelines, but I find myself using it because I, I, I watch my own videos multiple times. I will sit down and go through my own feed and watch my videos and be like, damn, I remember that one time I did this? <laughs> Look at that. I'm just so fucking funny. Hopefully as people keep talking about TikTok and their vague community guidelines, TikTok may acknowledge that they not slick and that they might do some workings around. TikTok may not, you know, even give a shit and just be like, hey guys, sucks to be you. I know that there is an app called Flow App where it is um, owned and run by a black woman creator and she is working on making it basically like TikTok but for black people um, so that it is more fair to us black and brown creators and we don't have to worry about violating these big community guidelines that we know are just racist. They just recently started their beta app and I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what they do next. What are your thoughts about TikTok? How do you feel about the platform? Do you find yourself using the platform more or less? Do you notice that your views go down? If you are not a black creator, have you been shadow banned before? Have you ever violated community, gu community guidelines? Do you have issues with the platform? Because I generally want to know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, be sure to like this video. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And and you know, if you just feel like a like and a view just isn't enough, go check out my Buy Me A Coffee. Over there is where you can buy me a cake and the cakes are $5 or you can become a member and subscribe to my uh, platform for $10 a month and get awesome behind the scenes content, patterns, a yarling sticker, become a yarling member, a yarling gang. And you know, we have a good time over there. I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you have a topic you'd like me to discuss, feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I will talk to everyone later.